of the biggest things that lead to stress and an unhealthy emotional environment in a family is excessive business. How busy are you? You know, the American family, we're running everywhere. I often say it's like little house on the freeway. In fact, some people want to live in their car, sleep in their car, do everything in their car. If we can put a microwave oven in our car and cook, we would do that because we're so busy. But why are you busy? Welcome to Moments That Impact. I'm David Ireland. Some of the motivation for business becomes very questionable because the motivation drives our activity. Some people are busy because they say, I need to keep my kids out of trouble, so I constantly keep them running, whether it's a soccer practice, ballet lessons, singing lessons, whatever it may be, I want to just keep them going on and on and on and on. Others say, I'm busy because I need to get to the next rung on the corporate ladder, I need to get the next promotion, I need to get that corner office, I need to get the next raise. And so this business is oftentimes driven by a motivation that becomes really, really questionable. One answer though to the question that most people never want to give as an answer, but is very real, a lot of people are busy because they feel as if, if I'm busy, I'm indispensable. You need me, I'm needed, I'm wanted. And so they keep their lives going on and on and on in this excessive business. Let me ask you the question. If Jesus said to his disciples, guys, come aside, let's rest. Does it not tell us that we need to recharge and regroup and rebuild? I have a little homework assignment for you. What would happen if you took the next 24 to 48 hours to investigate why you're so busy? What are the sources? You'll probably discover the 80-20 principle. It goes like this. 20% of the things that we do yield us 80% of the results that we have. And the flip side is equally true. 80% of the things that we do yield us only 20% of the results that we receive. I guarantee you that after your homework, you would know exactly where to focus your energies. And when you labor on those 20% of the things that you do, you'll find yourself not as busy, not as hectic. Your home environment will become far more healthy because it'll be more peaceful. And when that happens, send me a message online that I can rejoice with you and become familiarized with what happened when you heard this video message. God bless you. Until our next time together.